All right, we're catching up with a couple of funny men in today's entertainment city, Eugene Levy and Dan Aykroyd, who tells us why he couldn't possibly be more Canadian. I'm a real Canadian mix, you know, there. And born July 1st, I think I was the first baby, like a five minute after after midnight baby. That's yeah. Amazing. Well, speaking of Canada, I came out talking, by the way. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. Speaking of Canada, then they inoculated me with a gramophone needle. <laughs> Which all came in useful for Ackroyd last night, who was on hosting duty at the Parachute Gala, an annual fundraiser for injury prevention, especially among Canada's youth. Now, I also ran into another Canadian funny man at the event. I'm glad we caught you. Well, I, I, I always love being caught. <laughs> Of course, Eugene Levy and Aykroyd go way back. They started out together as part of the improvisational comedy troupe at Second City Toronto. Dan is uh, never at a loss for words, okay? Uh, Dan is never one to necessarily need a script. Indeed, just listen to him seamlessly ad-lib a little plug for his vodka brand during my conversation with him. As a superior Canadian export, I must place Crystal Head Vodka from Newfoundland, the Skull Vodka. I wish I had a bottle right now. Oh, there it is! Yeah. Voila! Ask and you yeah. shall receive. Yeah. You know, you can. It's the only <laughs> bottle. Bartenders, bar chefs, ladies and gentlemen, the only one you can. Clear. Who can? You can't do that with a, oh another God, a cylinder. You can't. Dan was one of the true geniuses on a Second City stage. His ability to improvise on the spot, his rapid rapid patter <laughs> use of words was something that you could only just sit mouth agape and drool is laughter the best medicine i think so yeah medically it's been proven yeah it's certainly done me all right and one, two, three, oh! It's the story that keeps on giving, the royal romance of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And with the elusive couple's one year anniversary fast approaching, engagement speculation is at an all time high. Despite some tabloid reports that Markle, who is of course an actress, is getting cold feet because she has recently been pitched scripts for lead roles in what could be major Hollywood movies. It sounds like the odds are in favor of a royal wedding. This week, Hello had a British bookmaker, William Hill, actually put odds on which would be the next royal couple to marry, and Harry and Meghan are the front runners. The fact that Harry brought Meghan to Pippa's wedding reception was a very telling sign that the couple are very serious. Sources in Britain have told us that Harry didn't drink for the entire day despite the lavish reception at lunchtime. The reason he didn't drink was that he wanted to drive Meghan in his car to the evening reception, which was the portion of the festivities that she attended. The sources are saying that if she is officially engaged to Harry, she would be by his side at the Invictus Games in Toronto in September. Ooh, we're crossing our fingers for that. Get the full scoop in this week's issue of Hello on newsstands and your Texture app now. And coming up tomorrow, the final part of our chat with the stars of Wonder Woman ahead of the superhero's big screen debut.